Introduction to the Human Body Objectives On completing this module, you will be able to define the anatomy of the human body. Define physiology of the human body. Comprehend the components of the human body structure. Identify the basic processes of life. Define the various terms that describe the body structure. Organization of the human body. The human body consists of many organs and systems. These systems and organs work together to support the functioning of the body. The study of the human body is divided into two, anatomy and physiology. Let us learn about these two components. Anatomy and Physiology Anatomy The study of the shape, size, composition, appearance, color, etc. of human beings. Physiology The study of the functioning of a human body. Components of Human Body Structure the human body is not a single structure, but one made up of four components. The structure of a human body has four components, namely cells, tissues, organs, systems. Now, let us learn about each one of them. Cells Cells are the simplest units of living matter that can maintain life and reproduce themselves. The human body is made up of numerous cells. Organisms like bacteria have only one cell in their body. Hence, they are called unicellular organisms. Humans are multicellular organisms having approximately 100 trillion cells. Tissues Tissues are organizations of many similar cells with varying amounts and kinds of non-living intercellular substance between them. There are four types of tissues. They are connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue. Tissues in the hand. The hand is a beautiful example of a structure that has the presence of all the tissue types. Epithelial tissue on the surface of the skin. Muscle tissue in the muscular region. Nervous tissue in the nerves and connective tissues under the skin. Systems of the body. A body system is a union of varying numbers and kinds of organs arranged together so that they can perform complex functions for the body. The major systems of our body are integumentary system, skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, endocrine system, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, respiratory system, urinary system, digestive system, reproductive system. Let us discuss about these in the coming modules. Basic Process of Life Our body functions systematically. The basic process of life include reproduction, respiration, digestion, metabolism, growth, differentiation, organization, responsiveness, movement, excretion. Let us know about each of them. Reproduction Reproduction is the transmission of life from one generation to another. Replacement of the old cells by newly formed cells is also called reproduction. Both the processes are very essential for the survival of the human race. Respiration Respiration is the process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the cells and the external environment. Digestion Digestion is the process of breaking down complex ingested foods into simple molecules that can be absorbed into the blood and utilized by the body. 
metabolism. Metabolism refers to all the chemical reactions that occur in the body. Catabolism is a phase of metabolism in which complex substances are broken down into simpler substances and energy is released. Growth Growth is the increase in size either through an increase in the number of cells or through an increase in the size of each individual cell. Differentiation Differentiation is a developmental process in which unspecialized cells change into specialized cell with distinctive functional and structural characteristics. It is through this process that cells develop into tissues and organs. Organization Each component of the body has its own job to perform. These components work together with other components to promote life. Responsiveness Responsiveness is the response given by the body to an internal or external stimulus. Movement There are many types of movement that occur within the body. On the cellular level, molecules move from one place to another. Blood moves from one part of the body to another. Diaphragm moves with every breath. Muscle fibers move and shorten, producing a movement through contractility. Excretion Excretion is the process that removes the waste products of digestion and metabolism, which are toxic from the body. The physical factors from the environment that play a role in the life process include water, oxygen, nutrients, heat and pressure. Terms used to describe the body structure The terms which we use in the field of medicine are different from the terms we normally use. For easy usage, such terms have been divided into three. They are directional terms, planes of the body, body cavities. Directional terms Directional terms describe the positions of structures relative to other structures or locations in the body. Superior or cranial Direction toward the head end of the body. For example, the hand is part of the superior extremity. Inferior or caudal Direction away from the head. For example, the foot is part of the inferior extremity. Anterior or ventral, in the front. For example, the kneecap is located on the anterior side of the leg. Posterior or dorsal, located at the back. For example, the shoulder blades are located on the posterior side of the body. Medial, Direction toward the midline of the body. For example, the middle toe is located at the medial side of the foot. Lateral. Direction away from the midline of the body. For example, the little toe is located at the lateral side of the foot. Proximal. Direction toward or near the trunk or the point of origin. For example, the proximal end of the femur joins with the pelvic bone. Distal Direction away from the trunk or the point of origin. For example, the hand is located at the distal end of the forearm. Supine A position where the body is facing upward. Prone A position where the body is facing downward. Planes of the body. Planes are imaginary lines, vertical or horizontal, drawn through an upright body. Coronal plane or frontal plane. A vertical plane running from side to side, dividing the body or any of its parts into anterior and posterior portions. Sagittal plane or lateral plane. 
a vertical plane running from front to back, dividing the body or any of its parts into right and left sides. Axial plane or transverse plane. A horizontal plane that divides the body or any of its parts into upper and lower parts. Median plane. A sagittal plane through the midline of the body that divides the body or any of its parts into right and left halves. Body cavities. The cavities of the body contain the internal organs or viscera. The two main cavities are called the ventral and dorsal cavities. Ventral cavity. The ventral cavity is the larger of the two cavities and is subdivided into two parts, thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavities by the diaphragm, a dome-shaped respiratory muscle. Dorsal cavity. It is smaller than the ventral cavity. It contains organs lying more posterior in the body. The dorsal cavity again can be divided into two portions. The upper portion or the cranial cavity houses the brain and the lower portion or vertebral canal houses the spinal cord. Summary With this, we come to the end of the topic on the human body. Let us recall the key points of this topic. The human body is a single structure that is made up of billions of smaller structures of four major kinds, cells, tissues, organs and systems. Ten major systems of the body include the skeletal, muscular, nervous, endocrine, cardiovascular, lymphatic, respiratory, digestive, urinary and the reproductive systems. The process of human life include organization, metabolism, responsiveness, movements, reproduction, growth, differentiation, respiration, digestion and excretion. All these processes work together in fine-tuned balance for the well-being of the individual and to maintain life. The physical factors of the environment on which life depends include water, oxygen, nutrients, heat and pressure. Terms used for describing body parts and activities are classified as directional terms, planes of the body and body cavities.